Hello everyone, I'll be showing you today how to quickly combine objects that are in rooms, say you have different rooms here, and they all have different objects, but you don't want to replace all the objects at once, but you want to combine the rooms. This is what I mean. <clears throat> an a person from the GMC asked for an easy way to combine all of the rooms. All of these rooms are 640 by 480. So what I would do is do 640 times 3, so 1920, and 480 times 3, because they're all 480. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to need a calculator. I'm dumb. So 480 times 3 is 1440. Okay, now, <clears throat> what you want to do, actually we'll just set this to 480. We'll just stack them side by side. However you want to do it, it doesn't matter, because you're going to see how the magic works. So let's start with room 1. Room 1 has a couple of various objects. And what we want to do is place this room copier object in here, because we're going to copy this room. Now, in room copier, there are two things you will have to change. The modifier X and the modifier Y. This is how much it will be adjusted from its normal room position. We'll keep it at 0 for now, because this is the first room we want to copy. So we run our game case in there from earlier and here we go all right so what just happened was the code for all of these objects were placed in our clipboard so in this blank execute code the first one we want to put say level one string equals put two quotation marks and put that this should this has all the create codes for every object in that room. It's the X. Delete this guy from room. Actually, delete the room. You don't need the room anymore. Next, get room 2. Place another room copier. Now with the modified 640. Run it again. And you just have a copied level 2 and what you can actually do is combine them if you really wanted to so right here don't even need this we could just have it all in one string right okay because we're gonna have them all in one room finally the next set of objects will be adjusted by 1280 from their original positions place another object room copier in there <clears throat> run it again it's now in the clipboard and paste so now all of our objects and their positions are set up in this string go to the next create event switch room in room creator so we have a switch, we're going to type in case and whatever the room is. This is so that you can have different rooms with different level strings in case you want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an execute string, level 1 string. I know execute string is a little slow, but you're going to have to bear with me here. Finally, place room creator in here to create all of the objects. And I know the room size is going to be huge, but we'll just see it scaled down for now. And to add any views in. Oh, whoops. Darn it, get room three. You're still here. Get out of here. All right, let's run this one more time. And we should be good to go. Yep. If you look now, all of our rooms have been combined with little to no effort. Just copying and pasting and changing numbers. I hope this helped you. If you need more information, you can always contact me, sagnasr2 at yahoo.com, and we should be good to go. This is an easier way to combine your rooms, especially if you have tons and tons of objects. I mean, what a pain. 